Hey, I wanted to make a quick little video to um, just show off some some games I got today that um, may be worth uh, your knowledge if um, you're not aware of this. But uh, this is a, a receipt of games I bought today. Um, and at Toys R Us, they have a, a lot of games that are on clearance. Um, these are the only the four that I got. It's not really a matter of me just only picking and choosing. There were a, a lot um, still there to buy. Uh, the cool thing about this this uh, going on with Toys R Us is it's not really. I was I I went to two locations and both locations were not advertising the reductions in the price. So um, when you would go look at games they're still going to show up as being 39.99 59.99 really really the baseline price of the games but then um i've i just have done some research and followed some forums where people were telling talking about how if you actually scan the games just like how uh walmart and uh, i know walmart traditionally that that's how i was able to find lots of games last year at clarence on walmart um, you just scan these games, and they will. The prices will um, be very impressive. Um, the uh, so I got two PlayStation Four games for under six bucks, um, and they they were um, all released within about a year's time. Um, they're just trying to purge some of their um, inventory, it seems. And then I got uh, two 3DS games, um, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, one of them was released about a year ago, thirteen ninety nine, and the um, other game I, I can't remember when that came out, but still for eleven ninety eight. These are are awesome deals for one for twelve bucks, another one for fourteen. So I got Dragon Quest Eight, which I know that this came out about a year ago, and I was really interested in playing this um, as a handheld. I, I bought this on PlayStation Two. Um, I think a little more than a year ago, but just couldn't get into it. Um, so, uh, I, I figured I'd give it another try. Um, I've been playing a lot more of my, uh, 2DS. So for, um, uh, $14 for this Dragon Quest game, like I said, um, if you walk on into a Toys R Us store, it'll still list this game as like thirty nine ninety nine, but, um, you just ask an employee to scan it, and a uh, situation that happened for me, I asked the guy if if he had if there are any games on clearance, and he acted like no, there weren't. And then, like rather than taking no for an answer, I asked him. I said, "Could well, could you please uh, use your scanner and scan these items?" And I just kept asking for particular games, and um, he actually made a comment about this game in particular. He's like, "I know for a fact this is not this is not a clearance item." And then he scanned it, and then he like literally was like eating his words because it went from thirty nine ninety nine to thirteen ninety nine on his little handheld scanner thing. So and he was like shocked because it's like I, I could tell he was like angry because I'm, I'm if he works in the video game area, he probably buys games and he probably won't would, would have if he would have known he would have bought this. Um, so thirteen ninety nine is a good deal for this. And then Fire Emblem, this is um, both the Birthright version and the the other one that's the purple version. I can't remember what that's called. Um, it starts with a C, I think. Um, that is eleven ninety eight, so 12 bucks for a Fire Emblem game. Do yourself a favor if you go to Toys R Us and you can find this. If it's still listed as thirty nine ninety nine or whatever the the original MSRP is, try to get it scanned, and the price might surprise you. It, de it definitely did for me because again, this was another game listed for full price. Asked him if he could scan this, and boom, he it just like was another thing that shocked him because I think he was. Um, I don't know if he's a full time employee. I don't think he was the manager of the of the department, but he was like so shocked that this was happening and he didn't know about it um so getting those two games um and then as well these playstation 4 games i own these games on my xbox 360 but i just kind of wanted to I, I was really hoping to replay this 
and for six dollars it's basically like three dollars a game to play at, um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City or yeah is Arkham no yeah Arkham Asylum and Arkham City I think is what they're both called and it's been a few years since I played them but I would love to play them on a newer system like PlayStation 4 so six bucks for that and this one was really shocking to because I just was like curious I just a I was asking him to scan certain games um, and so for six bucks, getting Dying Light was an awesome deal too. I, it, I I haven't played this yet, and to get the like updated version of this was awesome. It includes like a lot of the extra DLC that didn't come in the original version of it. So, um, and and this kind of works for some of the other systems. So like if you can find it on Xbox One, I think it it works for the reduced price. They're trying to clear out their stock. A lot of them are are like you're just. Uh, more common AAA games like I know um, The Witcher 3 is another game that I already own but if you don't have it that was one that I think it also would ring up at, as $5.98 um, I, I tried to find because I had heard on the forums that I read there were some people that were having success finding the Bioshock collection which I think has all three games for like under $10 and I was I was hoping I could get that, but well, I didn't have any luck finding that. Uh, or, or no, they, they did have it. It just it did not have a price reduction at the at the Toys R Us I went to. I'm gonna try to go back to another one that that is um, in my area and and try to see if I can find any any others that I would like to get. Um, another one that is also reduced. That's a 3DS game. Um, it's uh, Bravely Second. Not Bravely Default, but Bravely Second as a 3DS game. That is also another one that I think is priced at eleven ninety eight. So, if you're not aware of this, at Toys R Us, here's my receipt. These games are being clearanced out. Um, there's quite a few other games. I think um, a lot of these like AAA games that are about a year too old, they're trying to get rid of. Um, I know... The Handsome Collection, that is the Borderlands Xbox One version. Um, that's also clearance, I think, at around like $5.98. Um, don't quote me on this because it ends up being like, it, it may be generally like a whole Toys R Us wide price reduction, but there are some scenarios, like I said, with like Bioshock. It didn't work for me at the one store I was at, but it apparently is working for other people elsewhere in the United States. So... If uh, you have any interest in trying to pick up some games that you just missed or would like to um, have some 3DS games that are really nice games that for some reason are being reduced drastically, you know, more than 50% off, um, try to find a Toys R Us in your area. And just all I did was like... I asked the employee, I said, could you please just scan games? And he seemed, he didn't seem annoyed because it actually was working for me. So I just kept asking and asking and asking for games that I was interested in just to see if it would work. So that is uh, something that you should go check out.